Hi, I'm Chris Ward, Vice President of Operations for Pacific Coast Producers. Today I'm going to walk you through our facilities so you can kind of get an idea of our flow. Each of our facilities is strategically placed near our orchards and our fields so that we can provide high quality product to our customers. I'm going to go over some of the projects that we've had in the last year to increase quality, capacity, and also be able to sustain reduction in labor. Hi, I'm Paul Fairbanks. Welcome to the Oroville plant for Pacific Coast Producers. The process at our Oroville plant begins here at the peach dump. Peaches travel up our incline elevator into a short flume. They cross roller sizers and then head into the plant for peach pitting. We have small, medium, and large pitter banks. Each of these pitters can pit around 90 peaches per minute. The pitter torques the peach and the pits drop out through the screens. Next is our pre-peel color sorters, which kick out any blemishes or pit fragments prior to peeling. After peeling, we have beautiful, shiny peaches. They go on to another stage of color sorting, further refining the quality, looking for color, blemishes, and any pits that may have found their way through. These peaches are being sliced before heading on to filling. We use Solburn fillers, where we apply a little bit of steam in the headspace and seal the cans for continued freshness. Finally, off to palletizing. One of our newest projects is our improved grape department. We were able to use some existing equipment from Northwest and really streamline the flow into our fruit cocktail department. The grapes pass through one of two color sorters that look for any type of blemishes, defects, or stems. Next, they are sized and head off to our fruit cocktail canning lines. Here we have peaches, pears, grapes, pineapple, and cherries. Orville is also home to our single serve plastic bowl lines. This system is largely automated, featuring robotics that handle all the stacking for our retorts. This enables us to rely less on seasonal labor and stabilizes our process. Very few people are required to produce these bowls. We have a variety of different packaging options. We produce four packs, food service, 24, 48, and the newest addition is another nested loose caser. Here we are able to package 12 pack loose bowls in a carton. After the carton discharge, the cases make their way over to a robotic case stacker. Hi, my name is Josh Yarbrough and welcome to the Pacific Coast Producers Woodland Tomato Facility. This is the Woodland Plant Tomato Unloading. Tomatoes are rinsed as they exit the trailers and move directly into our elevators and upwards to our flume system. This flume system feeds our peeled lines where they are again taken up elevators and go through their first sizing and color sorting. From here, they move on to our steam peelers. Our woodland facility is nearly 100% steam peel. We love steam peeling because of the quality and the yield that it provides. Here you can see the tomatoes coming out of the steam peelers still have some skin attached to them. They will next go through a peel remover, which pinches and pulls the peel off. The tomatoes then move on to another stage of color sorting. These color sorters allow us to easily reject any green or yellow, or any blemishes found post peeling. This is one of our dice lines. After the tomatoes are diced, they move on to hand sorting and more automated dice sorters. We also provide whole peel and a variety of other sliced options. One of our unique processes includes hand placing fresh basil in some of our items, which provides a really nice flavor. After the cans are filled, they move on to seaming and then cooking. One of our new improvements is our Thor evaporator. It has an 80,000 pound an hour water lift. It uses very little steam and provides exceptionally high color. It is one of the most efficient evaporators in the world and was installed here in our woodland facility two years ago. Our evaporation control room is state of the art. Two thirds of all of our tomatoes move through this evaporation department. We have over 17 different kitchen systems at the Woodland plant to produce the wide variety of items for our 23 canning lines.
Another addition to Woodland is our new 450 PSI high pressure boiler. This boiler can run 180,000 pounds an hour. We use this boiler to produce power to stabilize our energy needs. We send high pressure steam through a back pressure steam turbine generator to produce around two and a half megawatts. The process in Woodland concludes with palletizing, stretch wrapping, and then products move on to our distribution center in Lodi for labeling. I'm Mike Van Gundy. Welcome to PCP's Lodi Peach and Apricot Facility. 2021 was a very exciting time at our Lodi plant. We replaced a large section, nearly one third of the plant. We removed the entire center of the facility and installed all new distribution, slicing, and color sorting. This project started at the end of our last processing season in 2020. We worked on it all winter long. We had many shipments coming in from Molinar out of South Africa, who helped design and install this project. Here, we are unloading peaches. They move on to sizing and then into peach pitting. Next is sorting and distribution for the new process. We size all of our peaches using a drop-through grater. From here, they move on to distribution. All the distribution gates are automated and divert the peaches into the appropriate lines for slicing and halves. Here the peaches are conveyed cup down so they can feed consistently into the slicers. From here they are elevated and head right into our halo color sorters. These sorters are state-of-the-art and do a great job detecting any type of pit fragments, blemishes, or soft character fruit. Peaches then move on to our main distribution and into our fillers. During filling, we add a packing medium, and then the cans go on to seaming, are loaded into our cookers, and coolers, and finally onto palletizing for distribution to our customers. Nearly all cans leave our facilities bright and unlabeled, then head directly to our distribution center just across town. Hi, I'm Brian Henriksen. Welcome to the Distribution Center here in Lodi, California. The Pacific Coast Producers Distribution Center has over one and a half million square feet of storage, labeling, and casing. We ship out over 3,000 rail cars and over 20,000 trucks per year. The bulk of our square footage is devoted to bright storage. Our products are stored bright or unlabeled, waiting to fulfill orders. On average, we turn this warehouse over around six times per year. During labeling, the cans are depalletized and then they go right into a labeler. We are able to package in a variety of ways for our customers. We have ample storage for make to stock and also have many shipping locations ready to go for efficient picking and shipping. As you can see, we've made a lot of positive changes in the last year in our plants, and I'm proud to say we have many more projects in the works to continue to automate and increase capacity. We do all of this to provide exceptional value and the highest quality possible for our consumers.